the way society thinks and benefits some type of research, like in humanities and arts, may be changing the, the way people think 50 or 100 years down the road. Both are equally essential for us. So those are the three main goals, and then we have three other goals for this campus alone. So the other goals are athletic competitiveness. The board wants to make sure that our athletics programs are competitive. You know we won against East Carolina, top one of the ranked teams in <coughs> 23rd. Tomorrow is the game. Everybody needs to be at the game to support the Cougars because we've got to be UAB. There's no reason. So I'll see you all there tomorrow. Okay? Just make sure you there. <laughs> then we have the next goal is for us to have national and local recognition. When I came here, I heard that University of Houston doesn't have the, the, the recognition that it deserves for the quality that it has nationally and locally. So we're going to take that challenge and see how is it that we get recognized for who we are. Final goal for us is competitive resources. Because you know if you do not have resources, there is no way that you can complete the other five goals that we have. You need the funds, you need the resources from the private sector, from the public sector, in order to make those other five goals. So that's our other goal, to make sure that we are putting in front of the state and the donors our dream, our vision, and asking for their help to team up with us. So this is where we'll try to take the university, we'll have more strategic dialogue on campus, exactly how do we operationalize some of these things. Now you will see these conversations over the next six months going on on this campus. And I know we have president of the faculty senate here, the president of the student government body here, we don't have the president of the staff council, but oh, Sandy is here too, incredible. Sandy is here as well. So all three of them will be involved, as well as we'll have alumni and, and community involved too, and we'll continue to have some of those discussions. So take interest. You have very important position. You senators. You have the biggest stake. You have the voice for other students. Take interest. Take part. And lead us in the right direction. I need your guidance. The university needs your guidance. And we are here because of you. And that's the bottom line. And if we could be anything else but not a university, we didn't have students. We could be a research institute if we were doing great research. The reason we are a university is because you are here. And the reason we will be good is because you will succeed. So with that, let me just stop here and ask you what is on your mind. What can I answer for you? I'm sorry, only senators can, can take questions. Senator Harvey. Regarding <laughs> tier one, regarding a uh, tier one status, has there been any talks about raising academic standards uh, to get that? And if not, are there any comparable uh, any tier one schools that have similar academic standards to us? Um, that is definitely an issue for us in terms of our undergraduate admissions selectivity score. Um, it is not where top year universities have. Will we be raising? Yes, we will be raising. Um, how soon we'll be raising, it'll take, about, it'll take about three, four years by the time we turn it around because you know what, we need, it is not about raising any particular kind of sport. It is about taking students who are academically prepared to be successful. But our commitment is that as a University of Houston system, we will have opportunities for every kind of student with every kind of aptitude and background to enter from somewhere into the system whether from community college, whether from our other campuses, and they should be able to then come to the main campus if they just so desire to do their PhD in biomedical engineering or <coughs> MBA from Bauer College, we should have pathways for them. So yes, standards here will increase. Um, no, I, I, I listened to you and you said that the university is a traditional part of the metropolis in the uh, part of the Houston area. Houston area focus. You know, we kind of touched on it uh, near the future. But I, I've always felt that the university, since we are a state university, we should be definitely more state focused. I noticed that you know, I've seen a lot of UNT uh, 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 advertisements. I've seen you know Texas State and all these other these other schools around the state advertise things. I haven't seen that much outside the Houston area. That U of H has been advertising to Dallas, uh, students from Dallas, students in Austin. I see a lot more uh, students from Austin, a lot more students from San Antonio uh, today, but I, I think that, you know, if the university is to succeed and to get where it needs to be, 
I think it needs to uh, reach out to uh, as a state institution rather than a, a, a local institution. And also I've noticed that uh, locally, within the state, we have a, a somewhat negative uh, stereotype. But as, when I talk to people from out of the state, people think pretty highly of the university. And I think that needs to change. That's, that boggles my mind that it, it, it could have gotten that way in the first place. Both but, observations are very true, both of them. A national university, a top year university is always a national university, not even a state. It has a profile where you, you are wanted nationally. And you're competing nationally. So we have more students coming internationally than we have coming nationally, which means over the next four or five years, that profile is likely to change as well. But that doesn't mean we are ever closing doors to people from Houston because we are a system of higher education. We will have an opportunity for everybody. University of Victoria is going down, doing downward expansion. They'll be taking freshmen too, starting in two years, and clearly might go in the same direction as well. Second observation, you're right. The farther you travel, the better reputation you have for University of Houston. It's known as a global university. We have a challenge. We will continue to brand it as a university that is valuable to its community locally and nationally. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to suspend the rules uh, so as students can ask questions, but that is after once all the senators have addressed their concerns and the executive. There are seconds. Okay. All those in favor of suspending the rules and allowing students to ask questions, say aye. 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 All those aye. say nay. Okay. Um, you, you talked about a Northwest Teaching Center. Um, possibly uh, being created, um, and I have another question, uh, or actually the Northwest Teaching, Teaching Center, when would that uh, maybe come about, or and what, what's, what are the stages right now um, regarding that? And um, you talked about enrollment also. Um, we, we have record enrollment here at the university, but um, I wanted to know if uh, how that compares to the other uh, large, uh, large universities in the state of Texas. How, how, are, uh, how are they doing? Good questions, both of them, very good questions. Not West Campus, uh, our proposal is that we can support any more, and as soon as it is approved, we are ready to all start offering classes there. So it could be as soon as January, it could be next August. As for the enrollment, the and enrollment are still like we have higher enrollment than we do. It's not about how large you want to be, you need to be a quality institution. And the size that you can handle, and you can create a very quality <laughs> um, hi, President. Hi. Um, this is Dr. Couture. Um, I had I heard you say you were you spoke about top tier funding, and I was just wondering how would you currently or how have you currently tried to work with our financial aid program? Since I, I feel that's probably the worst part about the <coughs> university right now is our financial aid system and how it compares to other universities since it's more accessible and easy at other universities. This university is such a big problem. We need to have better financial aid with or without top tier <laughs> status. Um, I know financial aid is still uh, has issues with it. I know that we have had a consultant who we have been working with. But this, this year, for the first two days, I was there in the financial aid office. I walked around all the areas trying to talk to students. And as I understand, it's better from their you know, survey, it's better than uh, what it was before, but it's definitely not very easy. So you will see some more changes coming very soon. And uh, I mean, the, we have to have changes in the entire enrollment management area. Try to do it the way top tier universities did, just paying attention to, to, to students. 